coach 10 people, 10 kids in the house? Yeah. Growing so up? One of so 10. That's like, at least like feeding the defensive side of the ball or something, right? It is. There's always somebody chipping in to help, right. too. Right. But it was chaos. <laughs> Organized so, chaos, man. And growing up in Memphis? Grew up in Memphis. So, so it's ironic that you got some barbecue here. Barbecue, right? Memphis barbecue, North Carolina barbecue. It's, it's about the sauce, though, too, right? It's about the sauce. sauce. You're a North Carolina true barbecue? I'll eat any barbecue, to be honest. Yeah. You know. <laughs> Young way, you're growing up in, in Korea, right? Yes, sir. You come to the States to move to Jersey. It's a little bit of a culture shock, but um, yeah. it was easier to transition because there were a lot of Korean Cut restaurants okay. over there as well. So Yeah. What about growing up? Nigeria. Nigeria. Yeah. West Africa. Yes, so what's sir. that food scene like in Nigeria? But our biggest meal was, uh, it's called fufu. Fufu. We had that once every day. Every day there's yeah. Every fufu. day I ate fufu. This is a good eater right here, right? Yeah. We got a future <laughs> lineman as well. He's going to be blocking guys like this someday. You're going to try. Right? <laughs> Daddy plate. You got Daddy's plate? This is real soul food happening right here, right? The green fried tomatoes. Fried green tomatoes? Yeah, it's all Atlanta. Yeah. It's Atlanta right there. This is Atlanta. Yes, but I'm right. very excited about that. It's fried chicken and wing. <laughs> <All> right. <laughs> so what excites you the most about being in Atlanta? It's so diverse, and a lot of people use that term now, but it's actually, it's authentic. The food scene is unbelievable. Yeah. Talk about time discipline. You got to discipline right. yourself. <laughs> well, just sitting here at the works, right? So we're like a few hundred feet away from like 15 amazing food stall. Young Way, uh, how excited are you to be kind of becoming more and more the face of the Falcon? Talk about the face, it might be the hair. Right. <laughs> no, he, that's good hair. When I say that, I mean, you're becoming a more visible guy. A few years ago, trying to stay in the league and being a part of that. So how do you process that kind of pressure? I try to carry that with me. You know, right. that's one thing, one of the coaches told me my rookie year was like, you gotta produce. You're, right. you're only as good as your next kick. So it's just move on, good or bad, learn from it and move on to the next one. What do you notice about NFL players and their superstitions and, and eating and, and being ready for games and what they're like on game day? We have a nutritionist that Steven Benjamin, he caters to these guys and knows what everybody does, like right. what everybody needs. Like you'd be walking out of practice and he has all these different <laughs> like shakes yeah. and stuff, and it's uh, all labeled. Cool. What do you eat game day? Are you eating on the uh, morning you wake up? Uh, nothing too much on game day. I'm the opposite. So I eat breakfast and lunch, because I know I won't eat till dinner time, so I <laughs> What's your biggest weakness? Desserts aren't a problem? No, dessert's really not a problem. It's, it's more just like just, just snacking and stuff snacking, like that. Snacking, right? How about you? What we'll get sweets guy. You're not a sweets guy, huh? Well, that's why you know he's like the, he's like the poster boy. He's got I know. the hair, he's got the whole thing, right? I know you're not gonna tell me that, Kenny. Come on. I'm really not a sweets guy, but I, but rice, rice is my weakness. Rice. rice. Yes. We're talking about dessert. You're talking <laughs> That's about what rice. I'm saying. That's what I'm saying. How different is your diet off season versus during the season? First two weeks, I'm probably gonna eat whatever I want to so eat. So season ends, yeah. Those ten days, right? Yeah. Ten days. Ten days. <laughs> you gotta get it in. You get it in right there, <laughs> and then it's back to the real deal. What's the great thing about being a head coach in, in Atlanta? Just a fun town to live in. Right. Like the people. Like to me, it's always about the people. Like the players in the locker room and, yeah. and, the, and the character. And that'll never change. And you want to be around good people. Talked about diversity. Yeah. I think it's a really cool city. This is a real take to the south. So. It's good to be with you. Coach, thanks, Thank, buddy. Thanks so much. Great to see you guys. Good to see you. Appreciate it. Thank you for having me. Kenny, go see you. That was awesome. Uh, it, was, it was awesome. Dude, I've been